dear students today we are going to discuss about uh, how to create third part which is quarter in that stock is about one in this part it is given that it is having 88 mm length and after that it is having some paper over here and the mid section it is having 32.5 mm dimension and paper is of 1 is to 30 and in the top view it is given that its width is 7.5 mm and it has a cut also a round cut or circular cut which is having radius of 60 or radius is 60 and circumference of that circle which is cutting that quarter they are the distance of 2.5 mm between them so if it is 2.5 mm from the center it is half of that 2.5 mm which is 1.25 so seeing all these dimensions we are going to create the solid part we will be clicking on the solid part option in solid edge first we are going to open solid edge version 19 then after that we are going to create we are going to click on solid part after we click on the solid part we will be having 3d movement and in that we are going to select protrusion command and we will be selecting front plane we are going to click on front plane not on right plane we are going to click on this front plane now we are going to create a straight line which is having 88 mm This should be 90 degree. Then below portion, see here we are going to refer that diagram. It is at the mid section it is 32.5. And taper is given 1 is to 30. So when it is 1 is to 30, so for 90 mm it will be at about 3 mm. So for 88 mm, it is more than 2.5 mm and less than 3 mm. For that, we have to calculate it. So, when you calculate it, you will come to know that for 44 mm from this point to this point, which is exact half of this 88 mm, which is 44 mm, it will be 1.467 mm so for 30 mm it is 1 mm for every 30 mm travel it is 1 mm so for 44 mm travel it is 1.467 mm either reduction or increment so from this point if it is coming this side then this will be reduced by 1.46 7 mm and here it will be increased by 1.467 mm so when we consider this this dimension it will be 33.96 mm and here it will be 31.04 mm because here it is 1.46 32.5 minus 1.46 here it is 32.5 plus 1.46 so here it is 33.96 and here it is 31.04 so we are going to create a line 31.04 the below section the bottom section and we are going to create a line 
पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स द बो सेक्शन और द टॉप सेक्शन देन आफ्टर दैट जॉइन एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइंस नो दिस एंटायर थिंग शुड बी kept center so for that i'm using move command and from the mid point of this line i need to put it over here then after that once again i'm selecting this so i'm selecting move option and from here only i'm putting it at the mid point now select arc by Three points. Select this end and this end. And keep a radius of twenty-five only. And here also, on the down side also, we have to select the arc of three points. And we are going to create another arc. The bottom side. We should be having twenty-five hundred. Yes. Now select trim option and trim this line and also trim over here also. And click on that. It will show that the file is not yours. So we are going to click on this thing. So for this, what I am going to do? Better thing is delete this line only and recreate it from end point to end point. So I am going to join it and then I click on the option. Now it is going to ask about distance, which is width only, which is something like seven point five. But it should be symmetric one. So we are going to click on Protrusion Symmetric Distance. Select it and make it seven point five, and click on Finish option. Now this is created. The border is created, but the uh, border should be having. Cut over here in the top section and even the bottom section. So for the what are what we are going to do? We are going to create a parallel plane over here. We are going to select top plane. See here we are going to select parallel plane. The plane section and after that we are going to click on stop plane and we are going to place it on this point. Once it is Tends it to this point, or in that way, we are going to create a section. Now we are going to take the dot option, and we are going to select the plane which we have created recently. Select circle by center, so that it's a circular cut. We are having a radius of sixty. And when it is having 60 mm radius, and from the center it is at about 1.25, which is nothing but 2.5 half, half of 2.5 mm. So that 1.25 mm and plus 60 mm should be added over here. So what I'm going to select, we are going to create a line initially from the midpoint, which is having length 60 plus. Half of two point five. Half of two point five. This is sixty one point five. So we are going to place it over here. Then after that, create circle from this point. From this point. The radius should be here. Radius should be select radius and radius should be sixteen. 
Now click on keep and delete the reference time. Now click on return. The last. Till what point you want to create it. So you extend it. So that cut will be created. Click on finish. And after that, go for mirror copy feature. Select it and select this cutout. Then after that, go for mirror copy feature smart. Select it and after that, select front plane. Click on OK. Then after that, select front plane. The mirror copy feature is created. Once again, select go for finish option and go for finish. Uh, sorry, mirror again. And once again, same thing. Error copy feature smart and select the this so the cutout then click on accept and after that click on top plane so that bottom end also will be created then click on finish again and same thing go for mirror copy feature that smart then select the array cut and after that accept it and once again select that thing. Now you can rotate it if you want to finish it and you can rotate it if you want to see how it looks how it looks from the sides now you select diameter tool and go for one frame model uh, visible and show it this and after that select the round operation select all the edges Paper and straight edges, and the radius should be half of 7.5. This is shown 7.5 mm. So this will be half, and this also will be half, which is 3.575 mm. See here, 3.75 mm. Click here and go for preview option. Let's click on center. Mm. Now we can keep it in shaded with visible edges. Then after that, we are going to for finish operation and we are going to save it. Once again, in summary, it should be saved as quarter. We are going to save it as Before finishing it, I will uh, see the procedure to add material also. Go to tools and here go to material table and maybe here we are going to search for the material. See here in the diagram is given that water is of steel. So what we are going to do? We are going to search in material library. And we will be searching for steel. Steel is already there. Select that and apply to before apply to model. The model is applied with the material steel. In the similar way, we are going to apply material to spigot and socket also. Then once you apply this to this once again we have to save it in coming classes we are going to discuss about assembly of uh, socket spigot joint